Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, Senior Editor at the ETC Cooperative. This is the Ethereum Classic course, Class 7, Ethereum Classic's Philosophy of Code is Law. As we explained in our previous class, Ethereum Classic, ETC, decided to follow a code is law ethos by continuing with the original untampered chain when Ethereum, ETH, split from the mainnet due to the DAO hack. ETH decided to tamper with the history of transactions to reverse the chain, but ETC is the same uninterrupted history of transactions to this day and will continue forever. In this class, we will explain the meaning of the principle of code is law, how it works, how it is applied in real life, and we show the foundational documents of ETC where this philosophy was originally laid out. The meaning of code is law. To understand code is law, it is important to remember that the first and overarching goal of blockchains is to reduce the dependency on trusted third parties with regards to the soundness of the currency, payments and savings with the currency, and for conducting economic transactions between individuals. This level of safety was achieved inside the highly secure environment of blockchains such as Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic. In this context, code is law means that once applications and transactions are entered into this uh, secure blockchain environment, they become immutable and final. Immutable and final means that they can never be changed again. These guarantees enable human action on a global scale without any restrictions or barriers and assure a level of fairness and basic rights never achieved before. The key to maintaining this secure environment is to keep it as neutral as possible. And the only way to maximize neutrality is to make it as rigid and strict as the laws of physics. Hence, the term code is law. It is an analogy to physics. This last concept is important because code is law does not mean the law of the jungle. Humans will always have disputes and problems to solve but code is law relegates these issues to be resolved outside of the secure internal environment of the blockchain. So code is law means safety, immutability and finality of the blockchain. Any conflicts or disagreements must be resolved between the parties through the traditional legal systems. How it works. Code is law is a real feature of Ethereum Classic and not an inspirational statement. This is because decentralized applications or dApps and transactions in ETC are protected physically by the design of the network. The three pillars of the design that provide this protection are smart contracts, fixed supply, and proof of work. Smart contracts are decentralized software agents that replace trusted third parties in the real world, but inside the blockchain. Fixed supply, puts a long-term algorithmic cap in the stock of ETC that will ever exist. So as Bitcoin, it can guarantee the long-term value of its currency. Proof of work is the mechanism that secures the system by imposing a prohibitively large cost in computational work and energy to tamper with it. These three pillars combined guarantee that the network is truly decentralized and immutable and these characteristics make possible and true the principle of code is law. Code is law, the fact that all decentralized applications in the system will run as designed with no possibility of tampering and that transactions will be posted and never reversed, guarantees the benefits of long-term survivability, censorship resistance and unstoppability of Ethereum Classic and makes it uncompromisable and uncapturable. So these are the pillars of Ethereum Classic. Smart contracts is programmability, so you can have decentralized applications inside the secure environment of the blockchain. Fixed supply guarantees sound money. And proof of work protects the whole system because it's practically impossible to break because you would need so much computing power and to spend so much electricity. Code is law, then, because of these three pillars, is a true statement. It's not a, 
an inspirational statement, like a mission statement for the future or something like that. It's a real and true reality today. And the, the benefits of, of Cody's law is that smart contracts, dApps, agreements between people, uh, long-term uh, securities uh, or bonds or, or contracts between businesses and people, and inheritance um, um, wills and, and things like that, uh, and, and trusts can be built inside Ethereum Classic and they can last their decades and they will always work and they will never be uh, modified or reversed. So this is survivability. Then sen censorship resistance, which is that you can enter transactions or send, uh, if you're a builder or a developer, you can send, uh, create, build new dApps and they're never going to be censored. And this is on a global scale. Unstoppability is that the applications are unstoppable. So if there's an application that is, let's say, a decentralized exchange or a lending uh, DAP or, or an insurance DAP or a smart contract like an inheritance um, document or a will uh, or something like that, it's going to be there and it's going to be unstoppable. Uh, uncompromisable and uncapturable by special interest, which is how the traditional world works. <clears throat> how Cordis Law is applied in real life. There are only two inventions in the blockchain industry. One, proof of work based consensus mechanism, also known as Nakamoto consensus, which provides the security of the system and is the most secure method known to man, able to achieve decentralization in a peer to peer, in a peer, -to -peer computing network. And two, smart contracts, which provide programmability to blockchains thus enabling the creation of autonomous agents that may replace trusted third parties, significantly reducing their costs and agency risks. These are, these are the big missions of, of Ethereum Classic and the blockchain industry in general. Ethereum Classic is the largest blockchain in the world that has these two inventions integrated in the same system. Therefore, decentralized applications are truly unstoppable in ETC. This is its real uh, life value proposition, real life value proposition. It's important to note that the whole industry is, does, doesn't have these guarantees, only Bitcoin and Ethereum Classic. The rest of the industry are all centralized systems. Proof of stake is a weak security system and is practically identical to fiat system or traditional banking systems or computing uh, cloud systems that are totally capturable and censorable. So, so uh, Ethereum Classic has this unique combination of proof of work and smart contracts and only inside Ethereum Classic, because it's the largest blockchain that is proof of work, fixed monetary policy and has smart contracts that uh, guarantees the unstoppability of dApps. Ethereum Classic foundational documents. The code is law principle of Ethereum Classic was declared and stated since Ethereum split from, from it in 2016. This was expressed in various documents at the time and one uh, other writing after. To learn more about ETC's principle, it is worth reading them. So we list them here. The Declaration of Independence of 2016. Let it be known to the entire world that on July 20th of 2016, at block 1,920,000, we as a community of sovereign individuals stood united by a common vision to continue the original Ethereum blockchain that is truly free from censorship, fraud, fraud or third party interference. In realizing that the blockchain represents absolute truth, we stand by it, supporting its immut immutability and its future. We do not make this declaration lightly or without forethought to the consequences of our actions. And here's the link that you can go and check it out. <clears throat> the other document is a Crypto Decentralist Manifesto, also of 2016. This is a quote. It's important for anyone participating in blockchain-enabled cooperation to be on an equal footing with everyone else. It doesn't matter if you wield huge economic power or only a tiny amount. It doesn't matter whether you're saintly Mother Teresa or a vicious drug dealer. It doesn't matter whether you're a human or a refrigerator. This is talking about the Internet of Things. 
It doesn't matter what you believe in, what political theory you subscribe to, or whether you're a moral or immoral person. A participant's ethnicity, age, sex, profession, social standing, friends or affiliations, make or model, goals, purposes or intentions, none of this matters to the blockchain even a bit. So this reflects the principles that Ethereum Classic has been that Ethereum Classic has been built on. The other document is Code is Law, The Quest for Justice. This is also from 2016. It's this whole snake's this is a quote. It's this whole snake's nest that could be avoided by refusing to be dragged into conflict resolution and quest for justice as related to smart contract execution. And it only requires sticking to principles of blockchain neutrality and immutability. So code is law on the blockchain. All execu executions are final. All transactions are immutable. For everyone else, there is a time-tested way to adjudicate legal disputes and carry out administration of justice. It's called legal system. And there's the link. And this other document is the final document that I consider a founding document. Uh, it's from 2021. The title is Let's Keep Ethereum Classic Classic. Our response to this is that particularly in the case of ETC, pragmatism is downstream of principles. This means that the principles and the philosophy are first and whatever design of the system or upgrades or, or pragmat, pragmat, uh, pragmatic uh, decisions are made in the future have to comply with the principles first. ETC has sold itself on these principles and has attracted its sizable following primarily because of these principles. Many of the developers and contributors work on ETC are all, many of the country of the developers and contributors working on ETC are only here because of these goals and have contributed based on, on this understanding. And the link is here. Thank you very much for watching this video, Ethereum Classic course. Uh, class 7, Ethereum Classic's philosophy of code is law. I hope it was clear. And uh, if you want to know more about Ethereum Classic, please go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.